Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. It is good to be back. Um, we're going to get into a good one today. Another good week last week. Hit the Patreon. Uh, hit the lock of the week again. Uh, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. It's not in there. Hang on one second. All right. Sorry about that. Uh, we hit another lock of the week. Please remember to join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in the ticker below. Uh, it, it's it's good to be back. We're going to get into Nakatani and uh, Estrelabio in which should be a really good fight. Uh, but before we do, remember, like, share, and subscribe. Please like the video. Hit the like. Uh, hit the hit the like. Smash the like button. Uh, subscribe to the Patreon. The Patreon is $5 a month. We hit another lock of the week. Uh, we hit the lock of the week every week. It's easy money. It's going to cost you $5 a month to get the best gambling advice. It also gets you up-to-date props. Uh, like, there's no props yet on this side. I haven't dropped. Kings hasn't dropped them yet. But if you want if you want the props, if you want to see what those are, if you want to see the best way to, to bet the props, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Uh, also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All right. Let's get into today's fight. Uh, Junto Nakatani, Southpaw, Long, Rangy. Measures distance exceptionally well. Great timing on, on his counter shots. Nice stiff jab. Puts it out there. Comes forward. Puts his punches together well. He's not a real super high volume guy, but he does throw in combinations. He's selective with his combinations, but he throws them and he, and he mixes up his cadences. Good straight punches. Good pop on his shots. Really good pop. Accurate from the outside. Really creative fighter. Uh, he's got good ring IQ. Patient, calm, and accurate, you know, from the outside. He's got he's got that calm. And he's got a pace, and he picks his attacks. He picks his spots really well, and he fires off really nice combinations. He doesn't waste much. Circles. Uh, conservative with, with, with his punch output, like I said. Decent movement. He keeps the jab out there, right? He's got a little bit of head movement, a little, little bit of mobility to him. Throws nice flurries. Uh, he doesn't throw enough combinations. He, when he throws, he throws in combinations, but he's not really firing off a lot. He could pick that up a little bit. You know, I don't want him to get reckless and throw, start throwing more, but like he throws really nice combinations. Pick those up. Throw more of that. Um, but he said he's got good pop. He's got one punch power. He's good from long range. He's really good at, at measuring and keeping that distance. Good feet. He's an excellent finisher. Really, you know, good height, good reach for the division. Really good size, length, long, good power. He's an A-plus fighter. You know, uh, he cracks my pound-for-pound pound list. So, I, I want you know, that's the type of fighter he is. He's got an interesting fight. Vincent Astralavio, not the shiniest record. 19-4, and four, lost to Jason Maloney, and then lost a bunch early in his career uh, in the Philippines and once in China. He's put some wins together. Uh, he came uh, back. He's got a, a win over uh, Nikolai Potapov. He's got a win over Gimbal Rigandau, which is kind of his, his his moment of fame. He's He's got some wins. He's a decent fighter. Again, uh, patient stalker, power boxer, looking to come forward. Uh, but he also, he likes to keep the fight at that long range, too. So this is going to be a battle at long range. Also, not a volume, but but a big hitter. Not a volume puncher, but a big hitter. He commits to his shots and throws everything hard. Good power. Quick shots. Throws from angles. He's got a wide base. He seems to be off balance at times, falling over himself. Throws nice straight shots. Um, a little bit flat-footed and slow. But he is, he is what he is. And, and he's good at long range. He's good at bullying you. He's good at coming forward. Throws nice shots. His head is on the line. He gets hit a lot. He can get a little impatient at times, uh, and he can be forced backwards. And when he's forced backwards, he's not very he's not very effective going backwards, right? So. Uh, he wants to come forward, and he wants to keep you at range, right? He wants to keep you at the end of his punches and, and kind of come forward. If you can force him back, which I think it would be part of Nakatai's game plan, he's not very effective. 
Uh, you know, they, they, they're they built similarly. I think Nocturne's maybe an inch taller. The, the reach is similar. They're going to both fight from range. They both want to use their jab. They both want to throw straight. But Nakatani is just better across the board. But like, Nakatani is just a much better boxer. He's much cleaner. Uh, he doesn't get hit as much. He's got a little bit better movement. I think he's a bigger puncher, although both guys can punch. Nakatani is just a more complete, better fighter, and he's going to win this fight at long range. I, I think the odds are crazy on this fight. Um, we're going to add this to our parlay. I, I hope the, the odds come back because Astro Labio is not a bad fighter. Right now, Nakatani is minus 3,000. We don't have the props on the stoppage. I, I do think Nakatani is going to stop him. Uh, two times bet on this, really. Two hundred bet is going to make it $6.66. The odds on this are atrocious. So I would say stay off this. You know, Add it to your parlay. It'll, it'll bring down your odds, and he's definitely going to win. So don't be afraid to do that. But just as a single standalone bet, I, I would advise everyone to stay away from this fight. Um, throw it into your parlay. Bring down your odds a little bit. Nakatani is going to win this fight. Nakatani is a class above. Although I think Estrelabio is a is a pretty good fighter for what he is. He's just not at the level of Nakatani. And that's no fault on Estrelabio. He's a good fighter. Um, so when the odds do drop out on the stoppage, on the, on the over-under, let's take a look at that. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also in that little ticker below. Come back. Get the best gambling advice. Is. It's all I got for you guys right now. Is that this fight should be avoided. And that uh, a two times bet on Nakatani. But I would avoid this as a standalone bet. Because it, it doesn't pay anything. You can add it to your parlay to help bring down the uh, odds. It's not, a ter- you know, it's not a terrible bet to do that with. But then come back. Join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Join the Patreon. Let's take a look on, on how to bet this. I do like Nakatani by stoppage. All right. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing. 3D Boxing blog and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every single major fight. So you had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The odds makers, the bookies, they don't know what they're doing. I do. Um, I'm going to show you how to make money. Um, consistently every week join the patreon uh link is in the description it is july 16th 2024 from texas to the world thank you and god bless. don't miss a tweet post story or video 3d boxing is on twitter instagram and facebook hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring